boys i wanted to show you guys this this is the x factor glitch this is how to get your x factors live starting the game the whole game as much as you can um i found this well, i didn't find it but as we were playing the tournament this weekend a couple boys i practiced with goat geezy played somebody that had all his x factors lit up and we talked about it saturday night and we figured out how we did it how we got it done and i thought i took it to the next level when i played in a tournament on sunday and i've been using it ever since so once we saw that Saturday, we said, how can we make this effective? How can we put this into motion the best way we can? The X-Factor glitch, I don't know how long this is going to last. I don't even know if it's really OP. I don't think X-Factors are that good. Uh, that's, that's one of the reasons why I was kind of on the fence about this. But defensive abilities, man, that's what you're going to have to sacrifice if you want to do this. I want to show you guys my team. The main card you need is Howie Long, the caveman, a.k.a. guy. And they give them these abilities. They give them these abilities that already start the game x factors you know some people have it some running backs have it three ap and you can get going now what the caveman does howie long the caveman is selfless so what selfless is it's the ability that then activates everybody on your team defense lights up you know so that's what howie long does man the first snap he's on the field he's going to light up everybody's x factor around you right but what makes it a glitch is as i show you the card right here Howie Long Caveman, you see right here, Selfless Caveman. It costs 7 AP for your defense. So instead of 12, you're only going to have 5 to play with. 7 AP for your defense. Um, that is what it's going to cost you. Go get this card. He, he should be the most expensive on the block now. But this is what you're going to want to use, Howie Long Caveman. But what makes it really OP, because, you know, you put Howie Long at left end or D-Tack or whatever it may be. Yeah, right now I have it on Rod Woodson Universal Coverage and Deion Sanders Universal Coverage. So those guys will be lit up with Universal Coverage until they're knocked out. Universal Coverage, your opponent has to guard, has to gain 30 yards to get knocked out. So if you don't give up anything, your guys will be lit up the whole game uh, with Universal Coverage. What Universal Coverage is, is improved coverage and knockouts. You pretty much get every knockout. Those guys are kind of tough, right? So that's what Howie Long does. That's makes it pretty good right i don't know if it's worth it though but how you glitch it is you put howie long on special teams now you put howie long on special teams right and you put your offensive players on special teams so now that one play for howie long counts as everybody on the field for special teams gets lit up so you have to find a way to put your best players that you want lit up on special teams now, the easiest way to do this is to copy my team. Now, what I chose on the X-Factor glitch, now, you have to figure out what X-Factors are OP, which ones are really good, which ones can help you in big games. For me, it was the running back's freight train to break one tackle every single time. Now, my, my point was to get this on two players, the fullback, who's on every special team's play, the fullback, and the backup tight end, the second tight end, Keith Byers, I used with free train. So this way, when I started the game with Howie Long as special teams, because you put him at backup left outside linebacker, right? When you do that, he'll be on special teams along with your fullback and your second tight end. So that's the first snap of the game. You get Howie Long with his selfless. He's going to activate your two running backs. Boom, just like that. Activate your two running backs so they'll have freight train the rest of the game, and they don't get knocked out of freight train until they lose yards. You know, so that's a good thing. Your running backs will be lit up right away. These are the positions you want to do. And I will tell you, I've also used Darren Waller with double me. The thing about you can only have three offensive players on special teams when you receive the ball. So if you really wanted this glitch, you can go choose to receive every single time. But that's not the best thing to do. But if you do happen to receive, you'll have all three guys lit up. Buyers or your fullback one your second tight end, and your third tight end. So that's what I have right here. You guys see the lineup. The easiest thing for you guys to do is copy the lineup I have. Uh, it's a little confusing to figure out who's on special teams and who's not. I will tell you your first fullback and your second tight end is always on every special team's return and kick. So no matter what, you want those guys lit up. If you want double me on, on Waller, put them there. I think the running back X Factor is the best one on defense or on offense because they just always fight. They always fall forward. You always get positive yards, and they'll keep it all game. Double me is good, but the thing about that is if you don't throw them for three plays, it disappears. The running backs can stay lit the whole game. In fact, sometimes I don't take out buyers until the second half. You know, So this is how I utilize this selfless ability on defense to activate my offensive X Factors. Now, 
it doesn't cost any AP on offense. So you still have all 12 of your AP. I still have hot route masters, still have fearless, set feet lead. I still got short ends, still got my offensive line ability. So you're not losing any AP on offense. You're all using seven AP on defense, and you're making sure he starts a left outside linebacker, Howie Long, or right outside. I think I use left outside linebacker. I'm not sure, right? And the other glitch about him is, okay, so say Rod Woodson and Dion get knocked out, right? Say they get knocked out of coverage, uh, they get not, their X Factor is knocked out. That's okay because, you know, what happens is that every nine plays Howie Long is on the field on defense, he'll light them back up. So you'll get these super corners probably about a third of the game, depending on how good your defense is. Even if you're on bad defense, even if you're playing bad defense, a third of the game you'll get these guys on, on the field. Now for defense, you guys see where I have Rod Woodson and Deion Sanders. Third corner and backup strong safety. Those are the two guys that are always on special teams. So you want to make sure that you're, you're the two corners you want. I use them on the outside, whatever you guys choose to use, wherever you want your universal coverages, wherever. But... This is where you want to start them in your lineup. Backup strong safety and cornerback three. These guys are always on special teams. They'll always run down there to make plays for you, and they'll be lit up to start the game with universal coverage. Now, you can put them anywhere after that. I actually pause the game and reorder my depth chart to make sure Rod and Dion are on the outside. Then I put Night Train Lane as safety. Then I make sure Waller is my starting tight end. I make sure Marcus Allen is my starting running back. I make sure Byers is my fullback. So I do have to pause the game, but... This is what the X Factor glitch is. If you guys see me playing, exclamation point glitch in the chat. You guys can watch this video, man. It was the easiest way to explain this, guys, to you. It's it's not super OP. I mean, I think for runners, if you want to run the ball, especially if you're running out the clock in a game, it's really good to have these lit up running backs because uh, they're always fall forward. I haven't fumbled yet with the lit up running back. I don't know if that works. You guys see I got two freight trains and a double me. But that third tight end only lights up when you receive the ball. He's not on the field for kickoff special teams, only for receiving. And defense, you see we have selfless Deion Sanders with Universal, Rod Woodson with Universal. So that is the glitch. That is how to do it, man. Uh, like I said, it's cool, but I only have five AP on defense now, and I choose to use pick artists on Rod and Dion, so they have Universal. They still have pick artists. They don't have pick artists for zero. You can use the zero guys with pick artists and not use that, but for me, I wanted the fastest guys, and I also feel like everybody on the field should have pick artists, so I'm not sacrificing that anywhere. So those are my two APs, uh, and I have three more. I have medium knockout on Ty Law, and I have medium knockout on Night Train Lane. That's how I chose to use my other five AP after using seven on, on, the, on the Caveman, but that, that's what I chose. You guys can choose a bunch of different things. Um, I chose. I think it's pretty good to sacrifice because, you know, I'm not in love with any of the abilities too much. You know, part of me, I might keep flirting with this and throw deep knockout on Rod and deep knockout on Dion and then make Night Train and, and Ty Law my universal guys in the middle rather than the outside. But I'm still throwing around ideas, still trying to make it better, how I can use this glitch to the most effective way I can. But... This is what I chose, man. Let me know if you guys are doing this. Let me know if you guys have seen this or anything like that. Like I said, I, we saw it Saturday. Geezy played somebody and showed us, like, yo, this dude was lit up the whole time. And it just kind of put two and two and figured out how to do it. Uh, you know, using your abilities, it's mutt. It's Pokemon, you know. If you can't beat them, join them. Figure out how to do it. That's how, when you guys watch me play, all my guys are constantly lit up. So let me know in the comments if you guys are doing it or if you run into this or if you think this is cheesy or you think this is crap. I'll be honest. I think abilities are crap. What do you want me to do? I don't make the game. I just play the game, boys.